Hello, it's Gracie from Gracie Ellie Design for ThermoWeb. Today I have a technique called shadow stenciling to show you, but I'm going to be trying it out with Decofoil. So I start out by inking some backgrounds. Here I'm using red velvet premium dye ink, and then I decided to go ahead and use grass green instead, and I'm going to be working with this beautiful green background. I used a Christmas stencil by the, the Crafters Workshop, and what I did here is I placed the stencil again and I shifted it just a tad bit to the right. That will create the shadow effect uh, that we're looking for. So I'm going to be applying now Decafoil Transfer Gel and I'm just following uh, the lines of the inking I did before. I lift that and and once the gel is dry, all you need to do is run it through the laminator. And I use this beautiful gold sequence deco foil by Gina K Designs. I then decided to ink the edges of the background with some more grass green ink, just to blend some of that shadow stenciling. I thought it needed more contrast, so I decided to uh, bring some red velvet ink too just to some spots of the background and that will actually uh, give it some more color in life. I wanted to make my own custom embellishments so I went ahead and colored some of the beautiful sheer satin fancy ribbon by Gina K Designs in white and gold and I used an alcohol marker that matched the color scheme we're using and the reason I use the marker is because it dries faster. I also used a piece of self-adhesive toner sheet by ThermoWeb and I ran that through my electronic die cutting machine and created a foiled embellishment. These sheets will actually create a beautiful foil sticker for you. I put all the pieces together to create my embellishment and all the other pieces that weren't self-adhesive I glued with Thermoweb's Mixed Media Adhesive. Okay, so it's time to put together the card and what I did is I added that beautiful ribbon to the left, tied a bow and added the embellishment and then I wanted to add some more details to the embellishment and I use the decafoil pen to add some red foil to those berries. To finish off my card, I mounted this beautiful background on a matching red velvet card base and I added a sentiment and this is a digital stamp that I printed in toner and foiled using gold deco foil. For more creative ideas, make sure you follow thermoweb.com slash blog, and you can always follow me at gracieliedesign.blogspot.com. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.